Hey guys, and welcome to another Motivation Monday. Today we are going to be doing a special edition of Motivation Monday where I'm not just going to talk, but today you guys asked me some questions and I had to pick one question to answer and I picked one question that someone asked and I'm going to answer it in this week's Motivation Monday video. So this week's question comes from Shelly from Birmingham, Alabama. Hey Shelly, hey girl. And Shelly says, I'm a young single mom living in Alabama. I've been here all of my life, but I feel stuck. I've been doing hair out of my small apartment for almost a year, but it seems like all I'm attracting are hood rats. Those are her words. Hood rats who never want to pay what I'm worth. How do I take my dreams to another level and demand what I'm worth from my clients? Hmm, good question, Shelly. First of all, thank you for your question because I had to pick out of a lot of questions and that one kind of stuck out to me because I feel like this is something that can go um, hands in hand with career, dreams, and even someone that's in corporate America. So first things first is kudos to you for even taking the first step towards doing something that you love and that being doing hair. The second thing is I think it's time for you to now shift, which you knew that already, but here's how you're going to shift. Here's how you go here's how you're going to take your hair career to the next level. The first thing is you're gonna have to put your foot down and demand that people respect your time and that they respect your talent. And a lot of times we give discounts and we um, dummy down our gifts and our talents just to get our name out there or just to um, build our portfolio. But when you get to a certain level and clearly you have clients coming to you on a regular basis because if not you wouldn't have been doing it and so the fact that they're coming to you should tell you and verify that you are indeed very talented so you're gonna have to first just sit your, your clients down your current clients down and let them know that you're getting ready to um, make your business better to brand yourself and in order to do that, you're gonna to have to increase your rates and your prices. The ones who are for you, Shelly, are the ones who are gonna make the sacrifice and who are gonna see you as valuable and they're not gonna argue with you or make you feel bad about increasing your prices. The ones who don't, those are probably the ones who just want something for nothing. And this is an easy way to do that process of elimination, which makes things so much easier because you now know who your quality clients are and the ones who respect your time are a lot easier to work with. Um, another part of your question, you said, how do you take your dreams to another level? Well, this is the first step to taking your dreams to another level. Um, I'm gonna share a quick story with you really quick. When I first got into entrepreneurship in general, there was this one in particular, this one client in particular who I had met through someone else who I had worked with. And I really loved uh, this person's brand. I pretty much helped them to run their business. And of course, you know, when you're starting a business or when you're trying to get your name out there and grow, you do a lot of things for free. Um, you throw a lot of extra things in there to help that person. Well, long story short, I had worked with this person for maybe five years. And up until a year ago was when I just draw, drew the line. I was like, I'm not gonna do any more free work. I'm not gonna do any more free consultations. And I literally, when this person reached out to me and asked me to do something for them, I gave them a price. And the price that I gave them, they obviously didn't like. Okay, Shelly, in order to be confident about demanding and charging what you're worth, you definitely have to make sure that you're constantly educating yourself, constantly learning, and constantly building a quality-based network. Because after all, your girlfriends from the neighborhood could come to get their hair done all the time, but in the end, are they ultimately going to help you to advance your career? Are they going to be the ones that connect you to the quality clients that you really need to make a lot of money and to really grow and expand your business in the way that you desire? So these are all questions you have to ask yourself when demanding what you're worth. Are you continuing to educate yourself? Are your license up to date? Are you attending classes? Are you continuing to build your skill level so that you can have confidence and demand what you're worth? And this is essentially the bottom line in taking your career to the next level and essentially getting you out of doing hair in your home. Shelly, I hope that this has answered your question and I hope that it helps you to start demanding what you're worth. And this doesn't just go for 
a client a service-based business or someone that's selling a product this goes for someone that may be in corporate America demanding your respect on the job making sure that you're doing what you're supposed to do that you're constantly doing your job to the best of your ability so that people can respect you and so that you can build a strong healthy and very quality uh, level of business. So again, Shelly, I hope that this has answered your question. I'm going to try and do a Q&A at the end of every Motivation Monday. So if you have questions, guys, definitely drop them below this video and let me know what your questions are. And if you'd like to remain anonymous, there is a question box on the motivationmaven.com. So if you don't want me to know who you are or anyone else, then definitely drop your question in that box. You can also use that box to leave me a um, questions, comments, um, maybe you want to vent to someone, definitely leave it there. Um, if you choose to leave your contact information, I will respond to you. If not, then just leave it there um, and I'll definitely be sure to read it. But as always, guys, I hope that you have an amazing week. Remember to plug into some sort of inspiration this week and remember to dare to live your dreams and do whatever you have to do to demand with your work and to take your business, your brand, and your dreams to a new level. I'll see you guys next week.